Campi Flegrei is one of Earth's most hazardous volcanic systems. Situated dangerously close to Naples, in Italy, where millions live directly above its restless cold era. Something unusual and concerning is happening beneath its surface. Conditions that differ notably from most other volcanoes exist here. Over thousands of years, a unique geological process has transformed volcanic deposits from an ancient eruption about 15,000 years ago into something that is unique to the Campi Flegrei system. And that's what this video will be about. But before we dive in, let's get an overview of the volcano. Campi Flegrei, Italian for fiery fields, is a large active volcanic caldera located immediately west of Naples in Italy. It spans about 12 to 15 kilometers in diameter and consists of 24 craters and volcanic edifices, some on land and some under the Bay of Pozzuoli. This caldera formed through colossal explosive eruptions in the past and is built from overlapping collapsed structures rather than a single cone. Two caldera forming super eruptions occurred 40,000 years and 15,000 years ago, each ejecting tens to hundreds of cubic kilometers of magma. These events, the Campanian Ignimbrite and the Neapolitan Yellow Tuff, rank among the largest eruptions in Europe in the last 40 millennia, underscoring the volcano's extreme explosive potential. Another third major caldera forming eruption was discovered in 2023, dating back approximately 109,000 years and was found to be comparable in scale to the massive Campanian Ignimbrite eruption, indicating that Campi Flegrei has produced multiple catastrophic eruptions throughout its geological history, and further highlighting the volcano's capacity for immense explosive activity. Beneath the caldera, a sizable magma reservoir persists. Geophysical imaging reveals a partial melt zone 7 to 8 kilometers deep with an exceptionally high melt fraction of up to 80 to 90 percent liquid. This suggests a large magma sill or chamber in the mid-crust, containing molten magma ready to feed eruptions. A shallower hydrothermal system sits above, around 3 kilometers in depth, where magma gases heat groundwater. Together, this magma plumbing system continuously stresses the crust. Campi Flegrei is a resurgent caldera, meaning the ground surface moves up and down as the magma and fluids migrate. Indeed, the caldera has experienced episodes of bradyseism, gradual uplift and subsidence, accompanied by swarms of earthquakes. In the early 1980s, the town of Pozzuoli, built in the caldera, rose over 2 meters in just 2 years, between 1982 and 1984, the most rapid uplift ever measured at any volcano. This uplift was coupled with thousands of micro-earthquakes and a magnitude 4 earthquake, prompting the emergency evacuation of 40,000 residents. Similar unrest crises recurred in the 1950s and 1970s, and uplift has continued at a slower pace in recent years. Overall, Campi Flegrei's geological structure, a massive, highly pressurized magma chamber beneath a populated caldera, makes it extremely hazardous. Researchers rank it among the most high-risk volcanic areas on Earth, due to its explosive history and ongoing seismic and deformational activity in a densely urbanized region. But there's one factor that really sets Campi Flegrei apart from almost every other volcano in the world, and that is the composition of its caldera rocks, which dramatically increases the danger. Don't forget to click on that subscribe button, hit the bell icon, and like this video, as it's the best way to support this channel. And if you enjoy it, consider sharing it around. The surface and upper crust of the caldera form a cap rock enriched in Pozzolana, a local volcanic ash famously used by the Romans to make concrete. Over thousands of years, heated fluids circulating through the caldera have caused chemical reactions that turn this ash-rich rock layer into a natural concrete-like material. Geologists found minerals such as tobermorite and etrangite in the cap rock, the same strengthening fibers found in Roman concrete. The process occurs as hot, mineral-rich waters from the magma zone rise and mix with carbonate rocks and ash. Limestone in a deep rock breaks down and produces calcium hydroxide, or lime, which then percolates upward and reacts with the Pozzolana ash to cement the rock. The result is an impenetrable, fibre-reinforced cap of rock that is highly ductile and resistant to fracturing. In essence, Campi Flegrei has created its own concrete lid. The distinctive, strongly cemented Pozzolanic cap rock at Campi Flegrei formed mainly from volcanic ash erupted during the Neapolitan Yellow Tuff eruption, 15,000 years ago. Before this eruption, 
Such a robust, cemented cap rock did not exist. Today, the presence of this tough, concrete-like layer significantly increases the likelihood of intense eruptions, as magma and gases become trapped, allowing pressures to build to dangerously high levels. Thus, the next large eruption from Campi Fugre could be exceptionally explosive, potentially surpassing eruptions of historical times. Although not guaranteed to be the most powerful eruption the volcano has ever produced, the presence of this tough cap rock increases the risk of catastrophic eruptions, making future activity uniquely hazardous. And that's because this tough cap rock locks magma and gas beneath it, delaying eruptions but allowing enormous pressure to build. The self-healing nature, strength and ductility of the Pozzolana rich layer explain why the ground was able to swell so dramatically in the 1980s without immediately cracking. Instead of frequent small eruptions releasing pressure, the sealed system behaves like a pressure cooker. Magma and volcanic gases become trapped under the cap until the stress reaches a critical breaking point. When the cap rock eventually does crack or shear, it can happen suddenly and explosively. For example, in 1984, the accumulated strain finally exceeded the cap's strength, causing rock failure that unleashed swarms of quakes and gas venting. Researchers observed that once fractures opened and gases escaped, the ground uplift paused and remarkably, the natural chemical processes began to quote-unquote heal the cracks over time by depositing new mineral cement. This self-sealing behaviour means the volcano can return to a pressurised state again. Pozzolana thus contributes to a cycle of stalled eruptions and extreme pressure buildup. The eruption is effectively put on hold by the concrete-like cap, allowing magmatic gas pressure to rise to critical levels. When an eruption does occur, it may be far more violent because of the greater pent-up energy. The Pozzolana-rich layer at Campi Fugre ranges from several metres to tens of metres thick in different parts of the caldera. Modern research on the volcano reflects a vigorous effort to understand its behaviour and anticipate future risks. Volcanologists have been closely studying the caldera's magma, ground deformation and seismicity through various models and monitoring programs. A 2016 study by Ciodini et al. highlighted that magma beneath Campi Fugre may be approaching a critical degassing pressure, also known as CDP, the point at which dissolved gases in the magma escape violently. Their models show that as magma rises and pressure drops to the CDP, a sudden large release of water-rich gas could rapidly heat surrounding hydrothermal fluids and rock, potentially triggering accelerating uplift and eventual rock failure, or an eruption. Alarmingly, Campi Fligre's ongoing unrest, ground inflation and high temperatures in the hydrothermal system is consistent with magma nearing this critical state. This finding suggests the volcano is inching closer to conditions that in the past have preceded eruptions. In conclusion, the formation of the uniquely hardened, cement-like Pozzolana cap rock at Campi Fugre has created conditions ideal for prolonged pressure buildup, significantly increasing the volcano's potential for a sudden and dangerously explosive eruption. I hope you found this as interesting as I did, and as always, thanks for watching. Before I end this video, I'd like to give a big shout out to my Patreon and YouTube members. Thank you so much to everyone that helps to support this channel.